Welcome back guys, GTA 5 Enhanced Edition received a new update that added support for DLSS and FSR frame generation. The game even supports DLSS multi-frame generation which is exclusive to RTX 50 series GPUs. DLSS frame generation is exclusive to RTX 40 and 50 series GPUs whereas FSR frame generation can be used on any GPU. In this video I'll be testing the game on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. I have already done my testing. The game supports FSR 3.1. The upscaler is decoupled from FSR frame generation. This means we can combine DLSS upscaler with FSR frame generation. The game supports DLSS 4 upscaler out of the box. Don't need to manually update the upscaler's DLL file. Unfortunately, the in-game FSR frame generation implementation comes with a noticeable graphical artifact. It causes very aggressive ghosting around a fast-moving vehicle's bumper. This ghosting effect is actually caused by temporal upscalers like DLSS and FSR. FSR frame generation just makes this ghosting effect more aggressive, more noticeable. Now this is very disappointing considering we were already able to enable FSR frame generation in this game via OptiScaler mod. Even that mod exhibited the same graphical artifact as the artifact is caused by FSR frame generation. I was expecting Rockstar to fix this issue before releasing this update. Modder Pure Dark has actually fixed this issue in their FSR frame generation mod for GTA 5 Legacy. They created a mask around the vehicle's bumper where no frame generation effect is applied. This is exactly what Rockstar needed to do. Hopefully, the developers will address this issue in a future update. Now you can even use Nukem 9's mod in this game as it supports DLSS frame generation. But it's not recommended for GTA Online as the game supports Battle Eye Anti-Cheat. So if you plan on playing GTA Online, just stick with the in-game FSR frame generation implementation. Even Nukem 9's mod causes aggressive ghosting around a fast-moving vehicle's bumper. I'll highlight the version of TLSS subscaler, open the game's install directory. Just highlight this file nvnjx-dlss.tll version 310.2.1. If you have an RTX GPU, it's recommended to enable this setting. Just right-click anyway on the desktop, click on display settings, click on graphics. Click on Advanced Graphics Settings, enable Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling setting from here. If your monitor supports VRR, enable the setting as well. I'll just enable Vsync from NVIDIA Control Panel. Click on Manage 3D Settings, click on Program Settings. From this drop down bar, select GTA 5 Enhance. Scroll down to the end, enable Vsync from here. My monitor is G-Sync compatible, I'll enable the corresponding settings for it. Click on Setup G-Sync here, I'll enable the following settings. Enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible, enable for full screen mode and enable settings for the selected display model. I'll also enable G-Sync compatible indicator, this step is optional. Click on display here and check the setting, G-Sync compatible indicator. Also make sure that you have installed the latest GeForce Game Ready Driver version 580.97. Game ready for GTA 5 Enhanced DLSS 4 with multi-frame generation. Also add support for Senua Saga Hellblade 2 Enhanced Edition. Launch the game. In game graphics settings, display mode, borderless full screen. No FPS cap applied, V Sync off, NVIDIA reflex off. Okay, I'll enable it. Now, guys, if you enable FSR frame generation, NVIDIA reflex is not going to work. The setting will get grayed out after you restart the game with FSR frame generation enabled. First, I'll show you the base game performance. So, I've enabled reflex. Ray tracing is on. Settings set to high, ray tracing settings, effects enabled. Upscaler DLSS using its quality preset, frame generator setting, disable for the time being. I only have access to FSR on RTX 2070 Super GPU. Sharpness level 50%, very high to ultra settings, maxed out. I'll straight away jump into GTA Online. Sliders maxed out. That's it. Cannot use any FSR frame generation mod with GTA Online. Yeah, we are in. Standing outside my CEO building. Looking for my vehicle. Need to call my mechanic. FPS here is close to 100. That's really good to see. Ideal scenario for using frame generation. I'll order my Deluxo car. The flying vehicle. Waiting for it. This is the online lobby. A lot of players. Things can go south in GTA Online very quickly. Any random player can blow you up. Okay, I'll just enable FSR frame generation now. 
वन हंड्रेड टू वन ट्वेंटी एफ पी एस है माई का डो इट क्विकली के नॉट पॉज द गेम इन गेम सेटिंग्स फ्रेम जनरेटर एफ एस आर थ्री अप्लाई येस डोंट नीड टू रिस्टार्ट द गेम बैक टू द गेम ये एफ पी एस इंक्रीज टू राउंड वन सिक्सटी कैन ऑब्जर्व द एड अमाउंट ऑफ स्मूथनेस दिस इज अमेजिंग सा फ्रेम जनरेशन इज वर्किंग वेरी नाइसली अ माइनर इंक्रीज इन लेटेंसी नथिंग एक्सट्रीम एज द बेस एफ पी एस इज ऑलरेडी ओवर सिक्सटी इट्स क्लोज टू वन हंड्रेड इन माई केस और जस्ट ऑब्जर्व द लेफ्ट एज ऑफ द डिस्प्ले बॉटम लेफ्ट एज यूल सी सम डबल इमेज अराउंड माई कैरेक्टर शोल्डर इट्स अ कॉमन एफ एस आर फ्रेम जनरेशन रिलेटेड आर्टिफैक्ट डबल इमेज विल बी प्रोड्यूस इवन अराउंड द राइट एज ऑफ द डिस्प्ले द मिनी मैप एरिया ओके नाव आई हाईलाइट द कार बंपर गोस्टिंग इज माई व्हीकल लेट मी गेन सम स्पीड टेन बाई टेन मैन इट कम्स टू एफ एस आर फ्रेम जनरेशन स्मूथिंग इफेक्ट बट द ग्राफिकल आर्टिफैक्ट्स आर प्रेजेंट या यू कैन सी सम गोस्टिंग अराउंड द व्हीकल्स पंपर आई एम ऑब्जर्विंग सम फ्लिकरिंग अराउंड द बॉटम एज ऑफ द डिस्प्ले एज वेल सी आई मूव द कैमरा फर्दर अवे फ्रॉम द व्हीकल Now you can see some flickering around the vehicle shadow. Oh my god. Other player. Thank god he did not launch missiles at my car. Yeah, very ugly flickering is occurring. Okay, I'll change the camera perspective again. Interior view. Now just observe the rear view mirror. Some ghosting is occurring around it. So it's a bit disappointing that Rockstar did not address these graphical artifacts before releasing the FSR frame generation update for this game. Okay, time to play around the game world. It's a pretty bare bones implementation. You can get the result even with OptiScale FSR frame generation mod. Of course, the mod will not work in GTA Online. And this is the only reason for using the in-game FSR frame generation implementation. DLSS for upscaler was already available prior to this update so that's it for the video guys i hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day